Hello once again. Uh, I thought I was done finding new games to play this week uh, with Steam Next Fest happening and, and all that. Uh, but then I discovered Die in the Dungeon. Uh, roguelike deck builder card battler. Um, the comparisons to Dicey Dungeons and other roguelikes. I think the Steam page said it was related to Slay the Spire. Two great games. Slay the Spire I have put countless hours into. So naturally when I heard that I I knew I couldn't uh, not play this one because it sounds like it's right up my alley. So uh, let's give it a go. Already like the art style, very charming. I don't know much of anything about this, so it must be interesting. Welcome to Die in the Dungeon. We recommend pressing the tutorial button to understand the basics of the game before playing. Uh, you're the boss, Rockman. got your training well I guess I can wait you are who am I it's an honor sir in need of a quick rundown yes I'll do it at once first let's roll some dice from your draw pile into your hand okay now grab your dice and drop them on the board to use them back dice one damage block dice one shield and heal dice 2 HP or 1 HP. Okay, so whatever's on the face. Heal, block, attack. Uh, let's attack. See, each color represents a different action in battle. Oh, I can see what I'm doing over here. Okay. The basic actions are attack, block, and heal. You can hover over the dice to get information. Right with that one over there. Oh, glass property. It can only be used once per battle. Here is the dice type. Got that. All the faces. Okay, so I've got a two, but it could have been a one, one, two, two, or three, three. Finally, some dice have special properties that modify the way they work. Which is the glass property, I assume. But enough with the theory. Let's put some more dice on the board. I'm just going to eat shit here, aren't I? Hold on, you just run out of energy points. I see, yeah. That means you can't place any more dice on the board. The energy points under your hand indicate the number of dice you can use per turn. Move the dice back into your hand to recover energy points. Try it. Okay, yeah. I think it's time I let you decide which dice you want to use this turn. Put the dice you want to use on the board and press finish. Uh, do I go first? Oh, I suppose the tutorial doesn't really matter. Back to, there it is, block one, there it is. Check out the animations. <laughs> oh, you alright? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Enemies will move after you, okay? You can check the icons around the enemy's HP to know their intent. That is their action for the next turn. That sword icon indicates the enemy is planning to attack with a damage value of two. Other icons can indicate block, heal, and more. But moving on, let's draw dice into your hand one more time. Ah, uh, see those purple dice over there? That's a new dice type. Add plus two to the value of any two any dice two places away. Okay. They're called boost dice. They can be used to make other dice stronger. Grab one and put it on the board. I see, yep. See that? Boost dice will target certain slots on the board. The value of boost dice indicates how many slots away they are boosting. Okay. So it's boosting by two and it's also two spots away. If it was a one, I assume it would just be these two, like the closest blocks, and only do one boost, right? Uh, this same value will be added to the targeted dice, yes. If you put dice in the purple indicators, they'll get stronger. You know what to do next, right? Boost some dice. Uh, I do know what to do next, and I'm going to boost this guy. See how the total value right below the dice just got higher? Oh, I see, yep. Combining dice together like that is key. Is the key to success. I to finish this. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? We boost. With the right combination, you can take out that enemy with a single blow. You're doing three damage. He's got four health. 
I do this, he'll do five damage. Yeah. Do I have healed? Well done, you finally look like the legendary hero again. Have a look at these little face bounce in there as he pops. I love it. I think it's time you go back to the real thing. Good luck. Thank you, sir. What have we got? A uh, fly. If I poke him in the eye, does anything happen? No. Yeah. Oh, my backpack. Discard. Exile. Absolutely. Okay, so that's good. How do I... Oh no, don't finish. <laughs> Just click at stuff. Alright, he's got 6 health, doing 3 damage. Well, the damage is an easy one to solve. 3 block, 3 damage. Now I just need to kill. Easy enough. Okay, I can get one new die or discard one die. Uh, do I have anything I really want to get rid of? Usually you clear out the starter stuff, don't you, to get room for new stuff, but I don't quite know what the new dice might look like, so I'll just grab one. A glass heal dice, which is probably better than this one. One, one, two, two, three, three. That's at least two. Basic block, which is at least two. Mirror dice. We'll copy the dice six places away. Um, that might help if I have better dice to copy. What's my block do? Actually, no, I'll get heal, I think. I've only got one of those. I can only use them all once in battle, so it wouldn't hurt to have a spare. Well, here we go. Slow down for a moment. This enemy is special. Which one? Oh, this guy. Icons like that indicate the enemy has a modifier. Hover over it. Presence modifier. While alive, we'll keep a die on the board. Is that one of my die? Yeah, oh, okay, I see. A die on this board. Um, we're doing 5 8 damage. It's rude. all I can do. I'll go first so I can't heal before the damage comes so that's about the best I can do. Can I choose who I attack? I can. You've got the lowest health. You do high damage and you have this thing so I might as well get you first. Ouch. Two, three, three again. Get you out of the way, then I'm just getting three and three. So I'll block one of those attacks. Because the question is, do I heal between fights or what happens in between battles? But we'll get to that, I'm sure. Three and three. So I'm blocking five, which is perfect, and I'm going to attack five as well. Yeah, I'll do. you and then I'll block you. You're doing one damage but you have six health. Probably just did no damage. I suppose there doesn't seem to be any bonus or penalty for not doing it as quick as possible so if it takes me an extra turn, so be it, I guess. Unless I see something that says otherwise. This card or get one. Ah, see what else is there. Another basic boost. Another heal. Prism. When targeted, extends the targeting effects to its own targets. Okay. 
look, I, I don't think that'll help us in the short term, but it sure sounds interesting for the future. Once I'm going to get more dice on the board. First time facing an event? No worries, I'll explain how they work. Events are encounters where you choose an option and use your dice to proceed. Ah, cool. Options are presented here. In order to select an option, you'll first need to fill their slots with suitable dice. Check that one, just to see. Okay. So they can specify a certain kind of dice they need, or a certain modifier property like glass. And you might be thinking, how do I know which option to choose? Easy, just hover over them. If the total roll is three or more, choose between three common relics. If the total roll is less than three, treat a battle. Um, you encounter some sort of blacksmith station. It was abandoned in a hurry, so there might be something useful inside. Uh, to answer that, let's fill these slots first. Drag the dice from your deck into the slots from that option over there. What's the minimum you can get? One. You're a minimum three, so... I mean a minimum two, so I'm going to guarantee a three. Something is missing. See that yellow number at the top? That's the target roll of this event. When selecting an option, the placed dice will be rolled. If their total roll reaches the target roll, success. Let's proceed then. Click that option and watch the dice roll. So again, we've got a minimum one and a minimum two, so I'm going to make it. Success, your total roll is equal to or greater than the target roll, so you can now receive your award. And that's about it. But wait, that was too easy. Let's see how you do on your own. Where's my reward? Ah, okay. <laughs> Three plus, so once again, needs to be blue. Hold on before I do that. Three common relics or a battle. Three silver dice or a battle. Deal 10 HP. Okay. So that tells me HP doesn't heal between battles. Do I want silver dice or relics? I think I'll just go the silver, I uh, swear the relics. Very good. Okay, what did you leave? Makeshift Trench. Gain plus one block for every die in your hand at the end of your turn. Heal two HP at the end of a battle, or if you have any remaining block, heal one HP. Well, that's nice, because I've only used three dice, can't I? And there's six in my hand, but I know that can change. Whereas if I get extra block, I heal as well. That might be the more appropriate one to use for the future. Not in this case, however. Unfortunately, yeah, my health didn't heal at all. question is, can prism dice they can boost a booster <laughs> anyway uh, I will boost a block that will attack you I'm blocking three, attacking one and I'll have one block left over, I should heal Two damage. But if I boost that, give me three, and then I'll heal as well. Nice little healing turn. May even do it again. It's not the most exciting thing, is it? But might as well put myself up. Close enough. Uh, hey, no, I don't think I want this one. Block four, back 
for... There we go, full health again. Thank you, comfy couch. And you are dead and overkilled. Max HP by three. I don't think I'm at the stage where I need to discard anything just yet. Although that may be future proofing. I'll just do that for now. Oh, you picked a bad one there. What are you? Big bug. What do you do? When killed, we'll deal two damage to the player. That's rude. Uh, three, two, two. health. He's going to do two damage anyway. Do I just get him out of the way? One less thing to worry about. Okay, two and four. Perfect. Health back. Three damage. I'm not doing any damage on my own. I'll just heal and block then. Back to full health. You're doing one damage, so... Good luck to you, pal. Three damage at five health. So again. Okay. And now I should just better just smack you when you're done. Upgrade two dice to silver tier. that do? Oh, I've got a four in there. I don't think there was a four in there before, was there? So, just basically improving a face. Hello. Pestilence. This enemy will infect a random slot on the board at the start of a turn. Reduces by one the value of dice placed in this slot. The infected effect will expand the next turn if not covered with dice. A bit annoying. So if I do that, what are you doing? One, three, one. I'll block and I'll attack, and that will hopefully block the infection from spreading, correct? Uh, I know I'll take damage, but I think I just need to get you out of here. Oh, he hit me and that happened again. Okay, that's quite rude, isn't it? Um, hopefully it won't be an issue because I can, I can't kill him. Damn. And I'm gonna get infection spreading. Um, that's okay. Oh, is it? <laughs> Is it okay though? Um, so you do nothing without a purple, do you? Oh, I just need to back you. No, I can't just have one dice attack one. I'll need to do that. I'll block you, and then I might heal. Running out of room to play with here. But I can at least do that. Block. No, I'm not blocking all the damage. Hmm. 
Hmm. What have you done? Thought I was meant to be blocking that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm in a bit of strife here. <laughs> Use the I can use these spots still, can't I? That's what I'm missing. I thought I was just blocking their spread. Use a relic. Rigged coin. All dice receive plus one to the value on odd turns and minus one on even turns, or heal two at the end of battle. Uh the cake is the obvious way. Alright, what are you? Copycat modifier. The actions of this enemy are based on the dice you use. And you attack. Where's my... Why have I only drawn one? I mean five. Bit annoying. I'll do that. Oh, I took the wrong guy, I think. Uh, whoa. That's rude. What the? So his actions happen after me, so it's hard uh, to respond to. So if I protect myself, I'm just encouraging him to protect both of them. And he's going to heal as well. Interesting fight. Really would like to get rid of this guy so I can... Um focus on him. Scary. A booster, I will get plenty of block and deal some damage out. Hey, okay. I'll probably do the same. Or can I just kill him? Yep. Should have healed. What was I thinking? Grant the hollow property to one die. Die can be used with no energy cost. Grant the heavy property. Stays on the board and drops in value for X turns. <laughs> like this. So if I do boost. 1, 1, 2, 2, 2 3, 1, 1, 2, 3. Um, it won't count towards my energy use, so I could boost and then have three dice out. This is my hollow one? No. Why am I needing five now? Did something happen? Um, okay, you're a shieldy boy. I'm just going to take you out. Okay, you're shielding and you're adding to your shield and I have no attack. Okay, this is my hollow one. It's costing me nothing. Go. Do I keep that shield? No. He keeps his though. He is. Um, I need to get aggressive. Okay. 
he's got two health left. He's going to attack this turn as well. No damage taken. Just <laughs> for good measure. I think I... Mm, I'm at the point where I discard. Prism I'm not loving. I discard this. This one will come up more. But I don't really want to drop below like two of each kind, do I? Let's see. Hello, mirror. Okay, so that's a free copy of a die six blocks away. There's a plus two boost on the slot it was used on for a good heal. I do this. The right placement, that'll just be a free hit. Here's some faint cries for help. Upon reaching its source, you encounter a dying soldier begging for some water. Search for water. If I roll five, choose between two relics, or I battle. Choose between two uncommon relics. The common, uncommon, or kill him. Now this is green only. I need to roll five. So oh, it's a 1 in 3 chance that I get that. Nothing's guaranteed. So I'm just going to give that a go. Damn. Now he's gonna to wanna to fight me. No, I'm not. I am. No, he died. So he's fighting me. Um painful. Painful. Do you do anything? You kill him. Maybe I focus on him. Okay, free mirror dice. We'll copy the dice six places away, which is there. Which is shield. That's a lot of shield. Not bad. You're dead. Will my shield stop your skill? Yes. Oh, that has, that has a roll of six to be of use, otherwise, it's just wasted space. I see. Oh, this is going to be a brutal turn, too. Not much else benefit from hitting this one. We're in the same boat, are we? Six block is fine. Actually, no, we'll heal. Okay, this might be the turn I kill this. Absorb that damage, then I'm free to face this guy. So he's going to do four damage this turn. Right, 
Right, I think I understand Prisma a bit better now. <laughs> So without the prism, I would have taken damage there, so that's good. Uh, I will block for four and attack. Oh, I can attack again because it's hollow. Three damage, five health. Can I just finish this here? He's got no shield. Don't need to heal. I'll just finish it there. Oh, wait. What he was done for. How about now? Upgrading two more dice. Uh, oops. Oh, I was hoping you would check what I. Hmm. Show me tell me what I can do. I'll get the other attack going. Here we go. What did that do? Oh, that's actually really good. That doubles our chances of that being useful. That is a free version of this, which is free. <laughs> and then I can go bang, bang, bang. Who wants to die? <laughs> 13 damage. I mean, it makes sense to wipe one of these off, but that's a good chunk of his health gone, isn't it? Good chunk of mine gone as well. That's fine. Where are my purples at? Come on. Thankfully the block's holding out. Tempted to just take one of these out, but I had a really good chance to with him early. There we go. See you later. I'll take those hits, no worries. Am I not drawing purples for any reason? It just feels like they're <laughs> just not showing up for me. Uh, what will I do? I might have to do, get him out of the way. Take one damage, that's fine. Get out of here. Grant the grow property. Dice increases value with every use. Yeah. Okay. Next chance I think I do need to start discarding because my hand's getting yeah, a bit un, uh, unreliable. What do you do? Ten, no, two times two and you act before me. That's rude. You're a Son of a bitch. I think I need to kill you first. You're hollow. Yes, that's good. Is there a way I can... There it is. Lovely. I was in trouble there, but it's fine. You have two health left. Gotta get out of here. I'm going to get hurt here. <laughs> You're gonna heal. What is that doing? Are oh, you shithead? healing.
Okay, you are brutal. That's a freebie, that's fine. You're doing nothing for me, you shit. I'm going to heal, I'm going to block. Anyway, I can. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm hanging in. We need to go. Okay, now you I could deal with. heal a little bit. Do I have... No, all my cards are gone. So, maybe I'll just finish it. Rather than just eat, chipping one heal at a time, that's a bit boring, isn't it? So... Spare you the uh, medium. Okay, Lone Island. The dice placed on the corner slots receives plus one to their value if not next to any other dice. Or, dice in hand get plus one at the end of the turn. Hmm. That's potentially good, but I rarely will play one on its own, will I? Unless it's next to a boost or powered by a boost. And these are unused dice, get plus one, plus one. Or plus ones in my hand as every turn until I use them. I'll go with that. Okay. You're a copycat, so you're a man in the butt, and you need an accurate hit. <laughs> okay, see ya, pal. Uh, have fun with that, and I guess I'll heal. Okay, you're going to copy this, three, which is damage, you're going to do that, and also that. Okay. Right, two more to silver. Okay, as you walk through the dungeon, you notice your feet getting stuck on the floor. Thick spiderwebs are blocking the way forward. The total roll is seven or more, no reward, but if less, I get cursed. Right, so I'll put two red, which technically is a disadvantage because they may not be your best card. However, the one I put here is doubled. I think that's my best chance out. Lovely. No reward, but no curse. What is that? You're healing? Oh, you're an elite or something. You've got lots of health. Uh, you need to go, but I have no damage, so you're not going to go. I really should have saved one of those, hey. I'm still in the mindset of just getting them out of my hand to rotate, but with this Nightmare Plasma, it pays to keep them around. I wonder if this will increase, even though it's got no face there. So you heal, you do 4 damage, and you have 20 health left, so you are a bit of a pain. I need you gone, I need you to do something, so you're coming out of there. 
healing, blocking. Where's my damage at? Here we go. Anyway, what was I thinking? Gold tier. Oh, what? I don't hate that. What is this going to do for us? Oh, yes, look, that's going to be six every time now. Perfect. Now I need to shrink my deck and get him in there every time. While traversing through the dungeon, you stumble upon golden bubbles floating around an empty area. The whole picture gives a mystifying feeling. I find... Okay. Plus 5 HP. Three relics. We'll take a rest. Well, I don't need to heal. What's my best bet of getting nine? Certainly you. Good luck. Perfect. Dice with a value of one cost no energy. Dice with the heavy property won't decrease if you have any leftover energy. Accurate kills heal you two HP and three block. Wow. Sort of moving away from dice with ones, aren't I? I've only got a few left. I don't think that's reliable. This might be the way. If I remember to utilize it. That seems like the kind of thing I'll forget instantly, but that's fine. Wow, what are you? File modifier. The enemy is... Okay, uh, something, something your weak spots. Okay. Place dice on these slots to reduce the damage. Gotcha. You hollow? Yes. Disruptible. The enemy will cancel its actions in this turn if dealt any damage. Oh. I see. But that's not too bad, and I think I would rather get him out of here. Yeah, I'll stick with that. Good to see you. Will I be able to utilize you? He's doing 10 damage, but if I do this, it does 5. But this goes wasted. Maybe I need to save this. He's doing 6. Oh, this is. Not ideal. Oh, I should have checked. Well, actually, survive this. I didn't do the math. Just. Right, you really need to die. first. Oh, 
only hope here. No, I'm dead. It's defeat for the first time. Alright, thank you for playing. The full version is coming in 2024 with new characters, more enemies, bigger bosses, lots of new dice types and properties, dungeon maps, and much, much more. Well, this is a first look at Die in the Dungeon. Uh, <laughs> really good, actually. I really enjoyed that. I can see myself playing this a lot, so I'll be definitely adding this to my wish list, and I recommend you do the same. Check it out on Steam. You can get the demo, play through what I just played through there, maybe do a little bit better, and uh, yeah, keep an eye on it for the full release later in the year. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.